Betty and Bob. It's almost like one word, like salt and pepper or bread and butter. We don't say one without the other, said Helen Bateman, sister-in-law to Alva Robert ba Bateman and Betty Louise Bateman at Betty's funeral. Bob and Betty met in high school, married after graduation, and were completely inseparable. I met Betty probably about the, our junior year of high school, about 1940, the summer of 40. I was going with a uh, cousin of hers at that time, Diane Uni from West Jordan. She made the mistake of taking me in to see her cousin Betty one time, and that kind of started all this stuff. But for several months after that, I would double date with this Diane Munich, and she would always get a date with Betty. We would go dancing, or we went out to uh, in Solidaire a few times, and I always sort of had my own Betty. We double date with Junior Prom, and Betty and I spent most of the time dancing together. We left both of our partners off to the side of the same night. But then about the senior year, we got pretty serious, and we dated pretty much through our senior year. October 1942, we got married. And I think we had about $45 between us. In fact, she had to borrow money from me to get her wedding dress out. But at that time, we you know, didn't really have too much to do. We actually uh, moved into a, there's no honeymoon, but we moved into a one room apartment, an upstairs apartment with one room, no running water, no sink, uh, no refrigerator. The closet had been turned into a in a little kitchen, we just we could walk in, run the stove, and back out. We'd have to go down the hall for one way to get to a bathroom, which we shared for the toilet, and went down the hall the other way to get to a, a bathtub. But we managed there, in fact, we was quite happy with it. Their daughter, Cheryl Kidder, recounts some memories of her parents. Um, what I remember probably most about their relationship is they were each other's best friends. They did almost everything together. One trip I remember taking was uh, Lake Mead and we'd been out on the boat all day. Um, and mother and dad both water skied. Uh, mother did not swim, was really afraid of the water, but she would put on a life jacket and ski on two skis and dad was on a slalom ski. He was, he was a good water skier. Uh, but we had just pulled the boat out of the water and uh, we were headed back to the little camping ground and my brother my brother was driving and my brother and I were in the front seat of, of the car and mother and dad were in the back seat of the car and my brother kind of caught my eye and uh, motioned to look back at mother and dad and they were sitting in the back seat of the car holding hands. Mm. Betty passed away in 1995, and Bob passed away in 2014. No doubt they had a sweet reunion and are now happily holding hands up in heaven.